All right, what a forcer motor is, is a much simpler way to be cool about spinning something. Let's just make a simple one. Ooh, new parts. All right. Let's just pull out a panel. And now, to make a forcer motor, you need forcers, wired forcers, which are in physics. Not facer, forcer. Uh, multiplier, nail it to a million, or 10,000. The distance, well, it's going to be a tiny one, so probably 25 will do. And show the beam you don't have to have on later. And you really only need two of these. You can put more. I wouldn't. Not for a simple one like I'm about to build. Now, what these are going to do are these are going to push a prop, I don't care if it's a wheel or a beam, around in a circle. Like an electric motor would push a pinion around in a circle. Now, what do you want to push around in a circle? You want to push a wheel? You could push just, you know, there. You could push this wheel around in a circle. For demonstration purposes, I will use a beam. Standard Phoenix beam, because no one uses them anymore. Now the tiled model pack is out. I'll show you how I put this together. No collide them. Stand one up like that. Lay one down like this. Axis to the center, and then axis. Now you can see there's a small space behind there because standard axis welds leave a space. And you could just go and go right there, and now weld the two together. And now you've made a vital prop that's missing from all model packs, which is just a, like a cross like that. Alright, now we're going to push this. Now since we spawned these on the floor, they are not no collided with anything. They hit boards and they're going to hit these beams. So just no collide the two forcers with everything. Much better than new. Now we're going to place these somewhere where the beam always hits something. Like right now, see it's always hitting. There's never a point where it's it's floating with no in nothingness. As the beam passes through it, there. Well, actually, she's a little short, isn't she? Son of a bitch. I will lower him down. The forcer forces from the back of this prop, not from the front, not from the tip. The forcer is actually starting there, not there. So you can move it up until it just touches. Should have made it longer than 25. There, and see, the beam's not showing because it's still hitting there. Oh no, I can't see because I'm too close. There. Alright. Now welding those to the board. And to each other for fun. Now. A forcer is looking for how much force you're going to give it. So we're going to go to wired input. I'm going to give it an, an advanced input that goes from negative. Hold your socks. 20,000. To positive 20,000. That seems like a lot, but trust me, it's fine. Changes per second. Let's make it 10,000. More and less. And I'll put a reset button there. 
wire the reset. Now, do not wire force. Force tries to push a prop straight away from it. Which these are spinning, so that's not going to work. It's going to try to take the beam and push it that way. We don't want that. We want it to try to spin the prop. So you switch from force to the other option, which is offset force. And wire that to your advanced input. Alright. Now we could increase the weight of some things here. Should have increased it before I axis, but it's not really that relevant. Do not put too much weight on these, or it will be too forceful. The forcers push harder the heavier the prop they're in at. So making these weigh 100 is probably as most as I would ever make them weigh. And let's put a screen so I see what's going on. Alright. And now let's give it some juice. Uh, that's just f it's just flying. You can't even see it. I can't slow down time to show you. I can put an RPM counter on it. Give me a second. All right, RPM counter is now on. With the gyroscope embedded inside the beam. Put this up to a slow force again. And that's a lot of RPM and throwing the gyroscope out. Now it's only a lot of. I only have it at 2,700, and I know I told you to put it to 20,000. And the reason for that is there's no load on this. Let's put a load on it. Let's see, load, load. What's a good load? There you go. That's a load. I'm just gonna ball socket this. Ball socket advanced. Monowheel preset is minimums all the way up, maximums all the way down for the X, Y, and Zs. Friction is irrelevant. Leave free movement on. No collide is your choice. One, two, and I'll do the bolt beams. So now that wheel will spin with this motor. Alright, so there's our wheel. It's ball socketed. It's at its default weight. Let's give it 20,000 force. actually bouncing off the wall. Alright, now let's reverse the force and bring it back. Ah, uh, not heavy enough to kill me. And that is the most basic of force or motors.